Tyler Toffoli must feel quite welcome at the Winnipeg Jets as he now has back-to-back -back two goal games just four games into his career. He scored his first two tallies for the team Friday night against the lowly Ducks and then on Sunday night decided to keep it going as he cranked out two more against the also lowly Columbus Blue Jackets, just absolutely beating up on the NHL's bottom feeders. First one he gets is that the Jets are already at 2 nothing as the Moose Juice legend Nick Ehlers hits him with the pass in the slot as he sneaks past every single Blue Jackets player and puts home his 29th of the season making it 3 nothing, And I'm not kidding. If you freeze it just right, he just walked in between every single Columbus Blue Jacket player, all five, and no one touched him. Columbus, not great at hockey. Logan Stanley would get his first of the year with a bomb from the point, and Nemetsnikov gets one before the period is out to make it 5 nothing. The Jackets would get one back, but then Toffoli gets his second, so it's sort of a wash as he seals it 6-1 with a beauty. He steals the D2D -D pass from Columbus and goes on a breakaway where he just snipes a beauty for his 30th of the year. Year. And you hate to see this one if you are a Jackets fan, as the D completely bails on Elvis. They just pull up early and let to fully shoot. That's what you do in beer league when you're 40 minutes in, not what you want to see from your NHL squad. But I guess that's why Columbus continues to be Dookie. The Jets, on the other hand, don't look anything like Dookie and seem to have made the perfect deadline moves to pump their offense up before the playoffs begin. To fully now in four games, has four goals and an apple. He assisted Ehlers in one for a three-point night. And Sean Monahan, who they got a little before the deadline, has been fantastic. Fantastic. The two had two assists in the most recent game and is now up to eight goals and 13 points in 19 games for Winnipeg and I'm happy for him. I'm jumping on the Jets wagon. I would love to see them go on a run. But what do you think? Are you jumping on or do you think a potential rematch against Vegas in the first round will be too much for them again? Let us know below.